This question comes up a lot. I've seen it a lot of different ways. Generally, what are Sitecore devs who are used to doing .NET going to be doing going forward in this kind of headless world? Now, first off, we should probably get out of the way that .NET's not going anywhere. .NET's one of the most popular languages around the world. So in and of itself, if that's the language you want to use, you should not let anybody come in and tell you you shouldn't be building in that language. But that aside, this question is mostly about the Sitecore world and working with Sitecore products. And traditionally, Sitecore products have been very .NET based. And more recently, moving into headless meant you needed to build in something like React or Angular, more recently Next.js. But you could always use a little bit of .NET as well. Now, the question comes, what about down the road? What is the direction of like, what should I be learning as a developer these days, right? And I think first off, you should be learning what you want to build with. Uh, that should be your first thing. So as a Sitecore developer, maybe you want to learn the latest .NET 6, and that's what you want to be working on. Um, as Sitecore, the company, we're moving a lot towards headless, and we're seeing products that come out that are completely API driven. We're being able to open that up to any language. Like theoretically, you could go and start building stuff in Go or Perl or something like that, invoke APIs and get what you need. Now, realistically, what are you probably gonna build on? You're probably gonna wanna be building on whatever seems to be the most examples coming out of Sitecore when you're learning, and then you'll transition to something that works for you and works for your specific customer requirements. Now, I can't crystal ball all the way down, you know, five, 10 years, what's gonna happen in the tech space. That's not my expertise, but I would say that our goal with these products is to make it open, make it have choices that you build the way you wanna build and you consume APIs so that you don't have to worry about what language it is that you're building in. Uh, so I think .NET devs who wanna build in .NET are gonna be able to use the latest .NET stuff, consume Sitecore APIs, whether it's from something like XM Cloud or Sitecore Personalize or CDP or Send, whatever it is, you'll hit an API from the language you wanna build in. And if you want to go and learn something else, you'll be able to do that too.